Hello Crypto Smart Investor, trade any particular token on Pucon now. Now the beauty of it all is that Pucon help you to set your slippage automatically. If you're having difficulty swapping any coin on PancakeSwap, come right away to Pucon and you notice how easy it is for you to do so. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button right away. Our aim is to reach our first 1000 subscribers by the end of this month. Help us to make this happen. Also like and share our videos. If you have any question, drop it in the comment section below. If you are making profits or losses, drop it in the comment section below. We would like to hear from you. Now, to make your first trade, you actually take note of two particular tabs here. The trade tab and this tab that shows something that looks like your wallet. So for us to trade a coin, you quickly hit on what? Trade. Once you hit on trade, it opens this new interface. Always know that once a new interface opens, it might not show completely on your screen. So you have to swipe up or down as the case may be. So the first guy here you have is the slippage row. Then after that you have where you are swapping your coin from and where you are swapping it to. So by now you should know that the guy at the top is where you have your funds in or where you are swapping from. The guy below is the guy what you eventually want to buy. And if you notice, the slippage have already been set to what? auto slippage. I will advise us to always use the auto slippage as far as using PooCoin is concerned. It helps you to have hassle-free swapping without any issues and it makes your transaction to go successfully without failing. Remember for every failed transaction, you are paying for transaction fee. Now the coin I actually want to swap is called the MetaMox. So of recent I think that the coin was given to me from an airdrop. A lot of people say that they cannot swap it, but let's see how it goes if we can actually swap it at this time. What I'm going to do is to click here. So I click BNB and I search for MetaMox. You can search for it, or if you know the contract address, you can just enter it in immediately. So I just select and see if it comes up. So this is MetaMox. So once you select it, it will show whether you have some holdings or that particular token. I'm sure I have some holdings because it's showing me 30 million pieces of MetaMox. And if I want to swap all at once, I click on what? Max. Remember, you can also use this particular button here to switch between the coins that you are swapping. How do we do that? If we click on this particular button now, Metamox should be below and Hero should be at the top. So clicking on it now, it happened. So I'm going to click on it now. It's just to switch. Is okay? So, and I hit on what? Max. 30 million pieces of Metamox will give me 303 pieces of what? Hero. And just like we explained when we did the video on Pancake Swap, we explained this session. Minimum received is 302 instead of 303 because of effect of what slippage then the price impact is 0.27 so for a particular project that has enough liquidity the price impact is very low but some projects even if you are swapping one dollar the pr price impact can be as high as five percent and if the price impact is very high you notice that you end up getting less of the, that particular token you end up paying higher transaction fee and there's a whole lot of effect so make sure that whenever you're swapping any token the price impact is low now after you've done that then they'll now show you the price of one hero to metamox so this shows you the price of hero to metamox and the one below shows you how many metamox will give you one hero remember hero in this case is meta hero since this is the first time we are carrying out this transaction just like we saw in pancake swap we we'll have to approve first so having approved remember to approve will actually require transaction fee so make sure you have some bnb always in your wallet for you to carry out successful transaction to so smart contract call and they are charging you a network fee of 0.2 dollars now most times you notice that the network fee can be very very Hi. What do you do? Just click on this settings icon here, or do not recommend it. I'm just telling you so that you know. Once you click on the settings icon, you will to see these different details here. It shows gas price, gas limit, 
transaction data and have the nonce. The essence of me showing you that is just to tell you that you can actually edit those. What effect does it have? The effect that it has that is that sometimes if your transaction fee or your network fee is very high, you can it actually reduce the gas price or the gas limits. But most times if you do that, then the transaction might not go through because you have tampered with the default settings. This default settings is the perfect setting for your transaction to go through. Then if you want your transaction to be fast, sometimes you definitely have to increase this. So we approve this transaction and should take 0.2 dollars for the transaction fee so once approved we'll now be able to swap all right so it has approved remember the minimum that you are likely to receive is 301 at this time so i'm going to swap this now and see if it goes through now look at the error the error says what execution reverted transfer helper transfer from field now this is probably what a lot of people were saying that you can't actually swap the particular coin. This does not affect me in any way because I was giving this coin as an airdrop. Maybe eventually they will allow people to sell, but for now you can't actually swap it back. And this particular coin is worth how much now? Let us see. It's worth sixty dollars. Okay, it's worth sixty dollars. How do we get to Pucoin.app? It's very easy. Make sure you're on your DAP. So once on your DAP, then you open up PoolCoin.app. But if I just finish opening it, just click on this tab here. And it should take you straight to where you left from. So that is exactly how to trade on PoolCoin.app. And if you notice, if you want to use manual slippage, just disable this guy here. So once click, clicking on it, disables it. I'm able to edit this as you wish so for a project you can start to use system so by now you should be able to use pucoin.app effectively if there's anything that you want to learn that we didn't cover you can just drop it in the comment section below and i assure you we'll make videos on that if you have any question also don't hesitate to drop it in the comment section below we like to celebrate our wins let us know the massive profits you've made so far if there's any particular coin you want us to talk about if there's any particular coin you are looking at also let us know in the comment section below this is a community growing so fast already remember to smash that subscribe button and we hope to hit our first 1000 subscribers by the end of this month and we cannot do it without you people let us go let us go let us go share this video like this video and we'll be happy you did remember to trade responsibly peace out